In this short video, we'll show you how to visualize defects using embeddings and OpenAI's clip model for Amazon's new ArmBench dataset. Now, if you're new to 51 and the dataset Zoo, 51 is an open source tool for building high quality datasets and computer vision models. The 51 dataset Zoo contains a collection of common datasets that you can download and explore inside the 51 app with just a few simple commands. Now, a quick word about the dataset itself. ArmBench, or Amazon Robotic Manipulation Benchmark, features more than 235,000 pick-and-place activities on 190,000 objects taking place in the context of an operating Amazon warehouse. This makes it the largest computer vision dataset ever captured in an industrial product sorting setting. What sort of things can you do with the dataset? Well, you can use it to train pick-and-place robots that are going to be better able to generalize new products as well as contexts. Now, the dataset itself is comprised of smaller datasets that are going to cover three main computer vision tasks. First, object segmentation. So here we've got 450,000 labels for object segmentations on 50,000 images with an emphasis on cluttered backgrounds as well as a variety of objects. Second is the object identification data set, which is going to contain 200,000 unique objects. And then lastly, the defect detection data set, which has 19,000 images. 4,000 videos with robot-induced uh, defects, uh, and 100,000 images and videos without defects. Now, ArmBench does ship with a variety of tasks and challenges associated with each of these data subsets. But in this video, we're going to focus on the defect detection task. And as you know, defects are often rare and unpredictable in nature. They can be challenging even to the best supervised learning approaches. So in this video, we're going to use 51's embedding capabilities in conjunction with OpenAI's clip model to see if we can't do a better job of identifying these defects. Now, to get 51 installed, you can typically get away with a simple pip install 51. I'm going to show you a slightly more detailed way to get uh, up and running in the event that any of these uh, requirements are applicable to your particular environment. So the first thing to do is to set up a virtual environment. Once the virtual environment is set up, you want to activate it. And with the environment activated, we're ready to install IPython. It just gives us a slightly nicer interactive shell uh, to work with. Next up, we're going to want to upgrade our setup tools. And with our setup tools upgraded, we are ready to install 51. Now, the next thing to do is to download the ArmBench dataset. You will need to make that request over on the ArmBench site. And for this uh, particular demo, we're going to be working with the defect detection dataset. And once you successfully install the dataset, your directory structure should look like this. Notice that you've got a license.txt file as well as a train and test CSV. If you navigate into the data directory, you'll see that you've got different image directories. And within each one of those individual image directories. You're going to have JSON files as well as JPEG files. And typically, you're going to have four of these per image directory. And we can take a quick look at what those image files may look like. Now that we've downloaded the data set and have 51 installed, let's import the data set, make it compatible with 51, and launch the 51 app. Now, you can find the link to the notebook that I'm going to be using uh, in the video description below. Now, the notebook that we're looking at here is going to perform the following tasks for us. It's going to import 51 set up paths and utility functions, parse images and JSON files, which contain segmentation polygons and defect labels, add a slice identifier to specify the camera view, create groups from our image directories, use 51 tags to store the defect annotations, convert the polygons that are based on pixel values into vertices, and then finally launch the 51 app. So in the default view of the ArmBench dataset, as we specified, let's do some quick navigation to get familiar with the tool. Uh, let's do a quick filtering on tags. And here we'll filter by uh, open book jackets as well as open boxes. And you can see we can quickly see those uh, samples that meet that criteria. We can also create a simple histogram. And here, let's get a split window. And let's also add package defect as a tag. And you can see you can start building out histograms based on what you're filtering on. And you can always click on a sample to get additional details about the image regarding tags, labels, primitives, group identification, etc. Now, in the final cells of the notebook, we're going to make use of the 51 brain. What's the 51 brain? It's a separate Python package that's bundled with 51 that uses machine learning to help us perform tasks like 
visualizing embeddings, finding similarity, uniqueness, mistakenness, and much more. Now to visualize our embeddings, we first need to import the 51 brain, and we're gonna be focusing on the fourth slice of data and compute embeddings on detection patches. Next, we'll assign a label field to our object detections based on our tags. And to simplify the visualizations, we'll collapse the book-related and bag-related de defects into single categories. And finally, we'll compute our embeddings using OpenAI's clip model on our object patches. Now, the 51 brains compute visualization method will use the UMAP method to perform structure-preserving dimensionality reduction to enable a 2D visualization. Switching over to the 51 app, we'll enter a patches view to focus on our detected objects and their corresponding embeddings. And as it turns out, our book defects are clustered quite visibly in the lower left-hand corner. Now, using the lasso tool, we can select this group of samples and in the samples grid, it's clear that the majority of these samples are indeed defects, and in particular, book defects. And this is really just the beginning of what you can do with the 51 brain. Besides visualizing embeddings, you can search by text, you can uh, zoom in on various parts of the cluster, look at statistics, similarity, uniqueness, mistakenness, all sorts of interesting insights that you can derive from the embedding space. So what's next? Try 51. As you saw, it's easy to get installed, takes a few lines of code, and you can do it all in under a minute. If you have any questions, make sure to join us on the 51 Community Slack uh, channel to join other data scientists solving interesting computer vision problems. If you like our work, we'd always appreciate a GitHub star on the 51 repository. And lastly, don't forget that there are over 30 data sets with more added all the time in the 51 Dataset Zoo.